Hey again everybody, it's me, big surprise there. Today I'm going to explain the filter method in JavaScript. The filter method creates a new array by filtering out elements. In this example, we'll create an array of numbers. We will filter out any numbers that are odd. Let's add the numbers 1 through 7. Now we need a function. Function is even. We have one parameter, we have an element that's going to be provided to us by the filter method. We are going to return, then write a condition. We will take our element, modulus 2. The modulus operator gives you the remainder of any division. You can use modulus 2 to check to see if a number is even. If this condition is 0, strictly equal to 0, then we will return true. We will be returning a boolean true or false. The filter method will take any values that return true and stick them within a new array, which will effectively filter out any elements we don't need that don't return true. Let's see if this works. I will create a new array, even nums equals take our original array, use the filter method, pass in a callback, is even. We will display console.log our new array, even numbers, and there we are, 2, 4, 6. Let's do this with odd numbers. Function is odd. Take our element, modulus 2. Is this strictly not equal to 0? That means the number is odd. Let's create a new array. Let odd nums equals our original array, numbers, Dot, use the filter method, pass in a callback, is odd. Let's check out our new array, odd nums. There we are. We have the numbers 1, 3, 5, 7. Any numbers that are odd. Let's go over another example. I will create an array of ages. I'll use const this time instead of let. Const ages. Pretend we're teaching a college class. We might have some students still in high school. Let's say a student is 16, another is 17, two are 18, 19, 20, and then we have somebody that's just a little bit older. They're um, 60. We'll use the filter method to filter out anybody that is under 18. We will find all of the adults. We will need a function. Function is adult. We have one element as a parameter that's going to be provided to us. We will return a condition. Return, check our element, is it greater than or equal to 18? So that's our function. Let's create a new array of adults equals take our original array dot use the filter method, pass in a callback, is adult. Then display our new array, console.log adults. We have five elements. The age of these students is 18, 18, 19, 20, and 60. Let's do this with is children to find anybody that's under 18. Is child function return element less than 18. We'll create a new array. Const children equals take our original array, use the filter method, pass in a callback is child, then display the new array. We have two students that are children. One is 16, the other is 17. Last example, we'll create an array of words. Const words. Add some words. I think I'll add some fruit. I'll add an apple, orange, banana, kiwi, pomegranate, and a coconut. I will filter out any words where the length of that word is above six. So we will create a function, function get short words. We have an element as a parameter. We will return a condition. We will check if our element access the length property of that element. They're strings, so they all have a length property. How many characters are they long? That's the length. Check to see if the length of this element 
is less than or equal to 6. If it is, return true. If not, return false. We will create a new array. Let's call this array short words equals take our array, use the built-in filter method, pass in a callback, get short words. Then we will console.log the new array. Short words. In our array, there are four elements with the length of the characters of each string is six or under, apple, orange, banana, kiwi. Then to finish this off, let's get any long words. We'll create a new function, get long words. Check the length of the element to see if it's above six. Then we will create a new array. Const long words equals take our original array, use the filter method, pass in a callback, get long words. Then we will display our new array, long words. Within our original array, there's two words that are considered long, pomegranate and coconut. These words each have more than six characters. Coconut is seven, pomegranate is 11. All right, everybody, that is the filter method. It creates a new array by filtering out elements. Your callback is likely going to check in condition. Does each element pass this condition? And well, everybody, that is the filter method in JavaScript.